Gas prices still seem to be going up with no relief in sight. We've got Stephanie Milani here from AAA to talk more about what we can expect at the pump the next time you have to fill up. And boy, the last time you we were here, we were talking about get ready. It's going to bump up a little bit more. And you and I were just talking in the commercial break. It looks like there's no end right now. Yeah, yeah. it happened. It happened. So, <laughs> it happened. It's going to happen again. It, it may. So yeah. the Tennessee average is up 13 cents this week. Okay. The national average is up 15 cents. There is a little bit of silver lining. Okay. Knoxville is only up nine cents compared to last week. Now okay. that's still going to be right. sticker it's a shock. Chunk of change, yeah. It's it's a chunk of change every time you go to fill up. Um, Knoxville, Nashville, and Memphis are all still above the state average. Uh, let me see. Knoxville's average is 421, mm. so we are still going up, but not as quickly as we have been over the last couple of weeks. The state average has set a new record every day wow. the last seven days. Wow. So a record we'd like to not break. It, yeah. Yes. Yeah. It's, it's not a good record. That. Well, a lot of people are asking what's behind this. We've talked about all different factors. We were talking a moment ago uh, before we went on about just the summer blend. That alone can help jack prices up a little bit. Yep. So we always change over to summer yep. blended gasolines. That's something that happens every year. People always see this jump. Depending on the market, it can be about seven to ten cents. Mm -hmm. But what's unique this year is we still have this ongoing conflict between Ukraine and Russia. Um, you know, countries talking about sanctions and what that means for the global supply and how quickly that supply can be kind of rerouted and, and re, you know, filled back into mm -hmm. the supply. So that's causing a lot of angst. Crude oil prices are up above a dollar, uh, I'm sorry, uh, 110. As of Friday, that is not good news when we're looking toward the future. Yes, it's not going to help us, yeah. Yeah, so typically those prices will trickle, you know, down to those prices that we pay at the pump. And I was really leading to my next question, but I think you just kind of answered it. <laughs> looking ahead, I mean, as long as those crude oil prices are up there, that's, that's not great news looking for the next few weeks at least. Yeah, it's not. We're likely to see another round of increases this week. And, you know, some tips that people can, can use, every little bit helps. So make sure your vehicle is properly maintained. Yep. We talk about um, tire pressure, but that really is important. Sure. If, if they're not deflated, uh, inflated properly, you have too much rubber on the road. It's causing too much friction. Use apps, look at those to find the cheapest gasoline near you. And something that most of us are probably guilty of, staying in drive through lines. If you can park and go in, yep. you'll save some, some gas. <laughs> if you're waiting for a curbside order, just roll the windows down and turn off that engine so that you can save some gas there as Whatever well. Whatever you can do. Yeah. Plus Memorial Day is coming up, big travel weekend. So yes. plan accordingly. Now start putting some extra money aside. <laughs> Put, put a little bit back if you can for those <laughs> summer travels. That's right. Hey, Stephanie, as always, we appreciate it. We'll look forward to seeing you next week. Yes.